Hey guys, this is Shotway48 here. Welcome back to another video. And today we got some more information on My Hero Academia and a new chapter of 375. Um, just, it just got released from yesterday. I'm so sorry I wasn't able to upload it from yesterday, I think. So I do apologize for that. Forget me. So I was on a late schedule. But I do know in this chapter that we noticed that Twice is coming back. I don't know how in the world he came back in the first place. I mean, he should have been dead in season six, but still. <sighs> It seems like he wasn't down for the count, I think. But I saw it with my own eyes. I mean, I saw Hawks kill them on the episode. During season 6 at the beginning. I saw it. How is he back? I can tell you this much. This chapter is not going to look pretty for the heroes. That's all I got to say. So let's go and see what we can find on this information. 364 of this new chapter, guys. Let's do this. In this chapter, we see present Mike and Kurogiri, and that's because at the end of the previous, Spinner was able to successfully get through to Kurogiri by placing Shigaraki's Nana hand on his face. Because apparently it turns out that All for One put some kind of microchip into Nana's hand to make sure Gross. that Kurogiri would instantly move even if he didn't know what was currently happening, and it's like, okay. I, this totally lines up with Horikoshi's writing of All for One, because like Spinner originally had like that voice recording that he was supposed to play for Kurogiri, but present and like damage that so of course he knew that was going to happen so he put a microchip <laughs> into nana's hand and that would activate him which it has so that means that the villains are definitely going to be moved around by kurogiri's warp gate quirk which we're going to see in this chapter but we're cutting away to this weather forecast in america and it's focusing on this super large cloud that's going over japan it even has the potential to influence There's a storm america, coming but this is like from all of the battles that have been going on mainly just shoto dabi and endeavor all of those, you know, heat explosions are causing like this massive cloud to appear. And I think that this is probably going to play a big part going forward because I think this might be the second time this is mentioned. And we see it like approaching the hospital, you know, where they were just coming off of. And it's also brought up again later on in the chapter when we see Manuel Monoma and Aizawa like feeling the effects of it. So yeah, like I said, I think this is going to come into play later. Maybe All for One tries to manipulate it or something, possibly. Not really sure. So then we're cutting over to Kamino with the battle between Dobby and Shogun. Shoto. We haven't seen them in a while. Shoto and Dabi had kind of already like had their final battle and it seemed like Shoto had Yeah, it was first, epic. But then no, somehow Dabi was able to like revive himself and started revive using himself. his own flash fire fist and got like a second That's crazy. from that. He's some but kind of like a monster zombie guy or something. Somehow still being able to fight because they're like all exhausted and they could barely stand. But Dobby is just still going full power despite that. And it's pretty much because of what Burning says here. She's like, he's broken past the limits of his power through sheer force of will. And it's like, yeah, that's what he's doing. And going further, she's like, wasn't his body like super weak to fire? And it is, because his body is on its last leg at this moment. Even Dobby realizes it because he's like, if I stick to my original plan of defeating Shoto and bringing him as a present, this guy's insane. His body won't hold up. So yeah, I don't expect us to see Dobby much longer unless Eri like rewinds him or something. But this does seem like this is Dobby's like death tour at this moment. And he's yeah, it is. to try to fly off to where Endeavor is at Gunga because he found that out from Skeptic a couple chapters back. But speaking of Skeptic, he's like, it's seems like you're getting a free ride and a Kurogiri warp gate opens in front of Dobby which is of course going to take him to where Endeavor is. But first let's talk about the sponsor of this video Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of online classes and members across 150 countries. It's a place to get inspired, learn new skills, and put them to work in impactful ways. And of course they have tons of classes that you can use to improve yourself in all professional fields such as with myself being a content creator I could use YouTube success script shoot and edit with mkbhd but currently i'm focusing on the ultimate self-care playbook to check this and out your someday self with jonathan van ness guys there's certainly ways to improve your professional career by working hard and grinding but in order to do that you need to take care of yourself as well and that's what i've really learned through jonathan's class here he's opened my eyes to so many different things that i totally wasn't aware of and after completely going through his course i can truly say that it has bettered me as a person which in turn has bettered me me as a content creator. But also guys, the first 1,000 people that use my link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. And you can find to my check link that out the pretty soon. below the video. Thanks, it's very guys. interesting. Well, we and they got animation. For a second, because we're going back to UA, and like I said, we see Manuel Monoma and Aizawa, who are currently erasing all for one slash Shigaraki's quirks, being disrupted by the weather that's going on. And they're still able to continue erasing all for one's quirks at the moment. And we're seeing like a small glimpse of what he and Izuku were doing. And it's pretty much just 
the same thing that was happening the last time we saw him. I think in chapter 369, when Izuku was beating all for one slash Shigaraki down so bad that he just started to become like bulbous. And that's when we cut over to Spinner, who eventually had succeeded in what he needed him to do. You know, warping the villains to different places and and whatnot, but also getting rid of Monoma Aizawa and manually erasing his quirks because that's the next warp gate we see open. It's right behind them. And present Mike's coming through this one as well, and it seems like Kurogiri is too. So I'm not really sure who else he's going to bring through this warp gate to potentially take down Monoma and Aizawa, but considering that it looks like Kurogiri is in this gate, it's possible that this might be like present Mike and Aizawa and maybe even Monoma's like final battle. Them taking on Kurogiri, but also of course trying to bring Shiro Kumo through, which they probably will successfully do eventually. But either way, I think it's so. going to disrupt the erasure that's happening. And we're finally going to get to see All for One slash Shigaraki, like, use his full power, something we haven't seen yet. So then we cut back to Endeavor and Hawks taking on All for One. And he realizes that Spinner has succeeded, and suddenly another warp gate opens up, and this time it's Dobby. Confronting there's one scary Endeavor. look on his face. Hey there, Dad. But then there's another gate that opens, and it's freaking twice, but not only twice twice it's twice with a twice clone and all for once like a sad are you death, kidding me the seed of hatred in a young girl's heart and of course this is referencing toga toga who had a strong relationship with twice maybe okay. the strongest of sounds all like we got some competition and of now. course hawks killed twice in the original war and toga also like watched twice as he died too but also a couple chapters back it was revealed that dobby was able to get some of twice blood and he gave it to toga and we assume that oh this means that she's going to obviously take in twice his blood be able she's to probably use, gonna use that for a special occasion use, like, or something. His ultimate sad man's parade ability. Seems she's like it's so all obsessed fruition. with blood for no reason. But she clearly has taken in twice his blood, become him, and then has already used his quirk to duplicate herself or himself. And the twice clone coming through the gate seems to be holding maybe a piece of Suyu's goggles, meaning that they probably defeated her because Uraraka and Suyu were taking on Toga last time we left off on that side of the battle. But it looks like Toga slash twice has won here. But going further all for once like shall we see takami what would have happened last time if you had it disposed of him so quickly and the end of the chapter I hope they're okay like, we have to kill him now and of course this is because twice his quirk is so busted like not only just becoming the sad man's parade you know multiplying himself hundreds if not thousands of times he can also duplicate other super powerful individuals like the first yeah he could do that Hawk saw was him i saw that on season five moves. but now that twice is here with all for one and dobby he might duplicate them like duplicate dobby as he's dying get the most out of him but then could you imagine if she duplicates all for one who is also now that would be insane he's on limited time because of the experimental rewind quirk thing that he did so it's eventually going to rewind him to nothingness but he still has some time on the clock to you know mess people up so yeah it's looking like this is all going to maybe happen soon which would be incredible i mean it would be a little too powerful of course maybe not so much the dobbies but you know cloning tons of all for ones that would just be too much so i'm thinking more so the dobby stuff is going to happen maybe but absolute minimum the sad man's parade is full-blown going to happen but yeah this is going to be like the shift in the war where it goes back into the side of the villains again and also as i've been saying these last couple videos i do think izuku is going to pass out really soon due to him using gear shift for five minutes which is like the limit that he's at the moment someone has to stop Bobby these guys up at that point and then he takes over the shift of trying to take on all for one slash shigaraki but let me know what you think about this chapter in the comments guys and if you like the video okay sad news that uraraki and su have been defeated i mean i want to say they're dead because he didn't say that I just think that he's the, you know, they're, they're going to be okay. They may have been defeated, but they always come back up. I hope they're okay. Um, someone has to find a way to stop Dobby. Well, of course, they're good. they're going to. And uh, Alpha One is still on his feet. There's a lot going on in this chapter, guys. I, I can't believe in my own eyes that this is happening to the heroes. But they got to rise up and find a way to stop them before things get even worse and worse for them. <sighs> Sounds like villains don't give up so easily once you try to kill them. They rage out and they come back and try to come for more. Yeah. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for today's video. I'm out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Look forward to see what happens in the next chapter. Hope something good might come out very soon. So, yeah. Peace. Thank you.